Hi, Lucy. Hi, Trini. How are you? I'm good, darling. This week, I thought we had so many requests, Lucy, and I thought we'd do the colour I find quite hard to wear, which is green. Wow, there'll be a lot of happy people out there. I know. And I just, what I realised when I was preparing this, Lucy, is how, you know how blues, they all kind of can go together nearly, and pinks can nearly all go together. Greens are like totally separate families, because I'm going to do from khaki to turquoise, because to me, that's the breadth of the green an extended green family. Yeah, okay. Well, All right. Quite a journey. I know, it's going to be a bit of a journey, but I've prepared a great way. But before we start, darling, last week, what were we doing? We did velvet. And what have you got on, honey? It's this little velvet sequin dress from Zara. Is that this season? Yes, it's brand new. I love it. It's going to be your festive dress. It's so phenomenal. And room for baby growth, Lucy. So much room for the baby. Couldn't be better. Perfect choice. I'm glad you got it now because I know every woman, whether they're pregnant or not, you've modelled it so beautifully they'll want to buy it. Oh my goodness, such a good buy and it's going to be timeless. I know it's going to last me forever. Brilliant. Okay, darling. So I'm going to start off by just showing to me the sort of breadth of green. Yeah? This is not in any particular order, but I've done from sort of dark green bottle green velvets through to what I would call forest with a passion for some moss and sequin, through to tealy green sequin, through to a lovely sort of, I would say that's a pale forest, through to a wash of khaki, going into the khaki family, and then going into those brighter green shades that are really nearly acidic greens, and then going into the sort of neon green, and then I've gone a bit wish-wash because there's a few other things I, I put in the green family, which this, which is turquoise, which to me is a shade of green, but turquoise can be a greeny turquoise or a blue, a true turquoise, and then mint green. These are all in my wardrobe, so I do wear them all. Yeah, I was going to say, so obviously you suit all these colours. Yes, but some of them I have to wear a certain way to make them wearable. So we're going to start with what I've got on. That green on its own is a really good green for somebody with a sort of peaches and cream skin or a caramel skin, maybe more of a cool brown skin. It doesn't work so well on warm skin tones. Why is that? Because it's too cold. And also when you have blue eyes and you wear green, sometimes your, your eyes can look dirtier blue. But if I put the pink in, and I look at it again, my eyes have become bluer because I've added in that contrast. And what I've noticed in that whole green rail is how much when I wear green, I wear contrasting shades with it, apart from my newly discovered love of khaki. Oh, fantastic. And there's another few things with green, especially with these stronger greens, Lucy, that I never, ever, ever would I ever do red and green. So red and green must never be seen. No, whereas the tomato red and khaki can be delightful. So I would head to pink. And in this instance, I'm literally doing indie lip glow from Trini London. But I'm emulating my shirt, but I'm not overpowering it. And then I'm just gonna literally put the end of the indie on my cheeks. But for me, that's a very successful way to wear this jacket, which I love. It's a it's an old Zara jacket. Yeah, I absolutely love those colours together. Okay, so let's go for something entirely different. Okay, Lucy, this um, is one of my favourite green suits. And this is a suit I got from J. Crew. With this, it's going the opposite end of the scale of green. So I've got it with that shimmer metallic shirt underneath. Sunrise metallics will reflect back the colour that's in the outfit you're wearing. So it reflects back a bit more green than if I wore it with something else. Yes, is it gold? It's sort of, it's pewter, it's in fact. You guessed it, it's the colour of Hikati. Makeup is so important when you're wearing green and when you feel there's green that's not 100% you, but you love it and you want to wear it. But I'm going to take Hikati because it is the colour of that and put a little bit on my eyelids, but just the tiniest bit. You know, I've changed my lip to cheek to VB, which is that orangey shade. And then what I might put on the top is a bit of 
Myco just to pop that oranginess. And I think it makes khaki feel fresh on the combination of my skin, hair and eye. Now I'm gonna layer the look. So the way I wear this is I'll either make it very sort of olive greeny, khaki-ish, and I'll take a scarf like this and I'll just do that. If you see in this, Lucy, there's a lighter, brighter green and there's a khaki green. So I can just look at the pattern and decide which color do I wanna bring out, which color is better by my face or I can go another direction so I'm going to take that off and then I'm going to go to a really old friend which is this H&M coat and this has the metallic of the shirt I find this outfit genial genius I'm mixing patterns and textures and print but it's the best way for me to do this color green Lucy and what makes it work is I'm giving texture to it. Yeah. Like from that very first layer of the metallic, yeah. you're, it's like you're building the pattern and the intensity of it as it goes out. And then I could go up or down with a bag. So let me show you both. Oh my God, get a bag in there. If I wanted to be really like classic, I would go with that really nice one that I did in my Scottish, if you saw my Scottish closet confessions, do you remember? And I sort of had my Scotland wardrobe and that's very subdued. It's nice, but it's not popping for me. No, but this is, could be called chic, okay? <laughs> it could be called chic, chic, chic. Or, <laughs> the only reason to me this is in any way acceptable is I noticed that that, that color of the green has a sort of yellowish tinge. Now that goes with that yellowishness. It doesn't go with this. But because I've layered two different patterns already, it's like I'm, not I'm beyond caring, but it's like the outfit can kind of take more and more and more. I wouldn't put that on top, but if I wanted to layer a scarf, where would I go? I wouldn't go anywhere. I've got no scarf that would do it. I'd leave it like this. I thought you were gonna go for something acid. Well, I was going to, but I just felt, I felt it would be too acid. I mean, it changes it up, doesn't it? That's the joy of accessories, Lucy, is how much they can just change up how you first thought about that outfit and where it's gone to in its incarnation. I quite like it. I knew you were going to say that. It does bring the bag together. Yeah, there's something I love too. Okay, thank you. I've gone for a, what I would call emerald, but that sort of dirty emerald. So I love going to this color, which I don't know what, how would you describe this? I would call it a pink ruby. Yeah, I was gonna say there's more pink in it. And I think because these are kind of beautiful stones that might be in jewelry, I think that's how I'm inspired for those colors to work well together. Do those trousers, are they shimmery? They're shimmery, they're Lurex, look. Oh my God, they're gorgeous. I got them from Louise Kennedy in Ireland when I was there last year. I miss you Irish ladies, wearing it in honor of you. And this is used to be my favorite Prada coat, but as soon as you give it the drama that a pussycat does, it sort of brings that whole element together and the, the colors are similar enough. One is a, a really pretty wool, but the tone is similar. And then makeup would change again very much. You know what I love about Closet Confessions, Lucy, is I discover things as I do it with you ladies, because I put everything on a rail that I have in a color, and then I get inspired by my wardrobe and there is an excitement to that, which I want all you ladies to feel. Because putting these two together, I would never have done unless I was preparing for closet confessions and had them on the rail together. Sorry, very loud helicopter above. I've never seen that coat on you before. I know, and I wore it a lot. Lucy, you know when I wore it a lot? When I was pregnant with Lila. Oh. I did. So what we can notice in this, the makeup is way too warm for the coolness of that combination of colors because I'm wearing VB orangey. So that's got to come off. I would either decide to keep it really muted and do something as simple as just doing honor. Okay, which is lip glow. So I have a nod to the shade, but I'm not going as pinky as I might do with Indy. And I kind of love that. But on a night on the town. Here we go. <laughs> I just couldn't resist. Dahlia. I'm gonna see if Dahlia. I can do matchy matchy. A big bow is a strong look and sometimes a big bow can wear you. So sometimes you need stronger makeup to put the big bow back in proportion to your face. So now I'm like, hello lip, hello bow. Yeah, 
You're bringing your face forward. Bring it to life, honey, because it's been dead a while. I'm now going to go mad now and think, well, I'm going out for dinner, so would I put on an earring? You know, you could go the full hog. Does the bow play too much with the earring? It depends. If I'm going to go to a carol concert on a Zoom bloody call, I'll do this. Whereas if I'm out and about, I might pull off that. Last minute thought. It goes together and I'm so excited. This is my reserved sequin jacket, but happens to go really well with that green. This is a classic and easy one. I do this in different ways, but this is me and M trousers and then the Zara top. But what I love is there's a black stripe going down here. The khaki is broken up because pure khaki and me, little washing outy. So just having the brightness of the white. Yeah, this is all about tonality. This is a lighter version of this, a layering moment. And then it's just that nice, you know, layering piece. And then if I was going out and I'm thinking I'm cold, what am I gonna put over it? Because I think you can do khaki and leopard. You feel the sort of camouflaging elements of nature. So I, I would do that together. I do love staying with the Dahlia. I think it goes well together, the colours. But if you didn't like a sort of deep red lip, I love khaki and orange. Oh, nice. Well, first of all, it makes my eyes look bluer, but it also, I think, makes the outfit look more modern. It's really fresh. Yeah. Mm. And what, so what lip is that? I put on uh, Shasha Lips Cheek. Oh, very nice. Next outfit before I boil. So darling, this is your classic, what I call Eau de Nile, but it is to me that softest, like mint green. This is stunning. The color really washes me out. So I tried even having over it, taking my old Zara coat, which is more Eau de Nile, and thinking, you know, could I put that over it and wear them together? And I could. I do love that jacket layered with the coat moment. But there's something about the white here, Lucy. Now I can do makeup to change that. So I could go and put on the Dahlia and it does something. But still, yeah. when I look at myself, I feel yeah. it's not my best shade, but I spent a lot of money on this. So I've got two options. Either I sell it because it's from Roland Marais and I bought in the summer when maybe I was a little browner, you know, just put on some, some gyre. If I had some color in my face, would that help? It's better, but what else can I do with it? So here I am, Lucy, feeling much happier. So Daniel is beautiful on a cool black skin, peaches and cream with blonde hair, and a really porcelainy olive, flawlessly very pale skin with black hair, but it's shit on me. It just doesn't work. But this yellow makes it more dirty and less cold. Yeah. There's something it's doing to that colour of the Eau de Neal. I might put some schmuggy on, which is actually our blusher, but I might just put on my lip. Okay. Neutral. And then full length. Do you want to see full length? And there you have it, full length. I like this. I didn't think I was going to, but I do. I know. I didn't know if I was going to. And then I want to just chuck some final thing on. Would I or wouldn't I? It's like your new favourite bag. No. Um, but it's just, it's made it a very different outfit. I love it. I think it goes perfectly. I love that pop of the, the lavender colour in there. I'm thinking even, would I? But what if it got cold, Lucy? What if it got cold? <laughs> okay, I've lost the plot. Let's go into some bottle green before I get carried away. But do you see whatever I'm putting on, how much that Eau de Neal is switching out, switching out, switching out its colour? Everyone always asks me, will you show me the Zimmerman? It's a cohort and I love it because it's like pyjama. It's really high-waisted. It's what we actually based our gifting outfit that I wore to launch gifting at Trini London. It was based on this design. This is a green that I think suits most people, Lucy. Silly question. Yeah. We get asked this a lot, is what is a cohort? A cohort is when the top and the bottom are the matching print, plain and fabric. Like pajamas, but for daytime. To me, that's what a cohort is. Always matching, like what a twin set was in the 50s. But let me show you also how I'm gonna accessorize it. When I do a look like this, and I want to be kind of evening-ish, I'll wear an earring. And these are one of my favorite pair of earrings from Prada that I got about 18 years ago. Excuse me, Lucy. 
do you know? Yeah, and I was just thinking, could I do a little eyeliner? Now, I've said to many ladies, you can do an eyeliner in Juno, but I'm just going to show you what my idea of an eyeliner in Juno actually is, okay? And I just want to do this little slither that you'll see when my eyes are closed. It's amazing that Juno is the um, bestseller of the italics. So I've just done tiny eyeliner in it like that. There's a fl flash of a lamb's tail. Can you see? Flash yeah. of a lamb's tail. If I do a colour like this, I don't want to go too orangey. So I would go really soft pink dye dough. You know, like that. All right, darling. I don't know what the final outfit should be, really. I'll think of something. Last but not least, darling, is the neon. I mean, it's like, is it yellow? Is it green? It's neon green in my mind. I mean, as a dress, it brings me total joy. But there are very different ways I can switch it up to wear it differently. So way number one, but I can do my green on green, which then turns this into a bit yellowy, like that. And then way number two, Trini Londoning, more green. Yeah, more green. More green, like that. But the way I love wearing it the most is green and orange. And when you have a colour this bright, I kind of love the green and orange. But this is my kind of final look. Now, I've got on a really weird lip combo. And when I wear this look, I have to be very careful of the lip. I go for something neutral like Chloe. So there's a warmth in it. But it's not clashing. And especially on my cheeks, where I don't really want to put pink or red or orange. Okay, darling, that was that. Long-winded, I know, but just a joy, actually. I really enjoyed it. I want to know what we think we should be doing for our next one. We've done green now, which was obviously a hugely popular choice. Yeah. Purple is still up there. Yeah. And people loved the coat suggestion as well. Did they? Those 10 coats. And, and just seeing your entire sequin collection, I think, was, um, was a request. <laughs> I'll tell you what I feel is feasible. I feel I could do the 10 coats. And I'll just show you my 10 favourite coats, why I bought them, how much they were, what they go with in my life and what they contribute. I was warming towards a sort of plum burgundy colour one, but we might not want to follow colour with colour. So we could, we could do sequin, we could do festive, what are we going to wear on our most festive days that we celebrate. You know, we'll all have different wardrobes, but it could give you inspiration. And um, we have never done skirts. We, we've never done skirts because I'm not a big skirt wearer, but I could show you my favourite skirts and why I wear them. Okay, ladies, boys, that's it. See what you think. Tell us what you like and um, have a wonderful weekend. You have a wonderful weekend, Lucy. You too, Trini. See you later. Bye.